Come on, Raptor, you're supposed to be fast. Slow Raptor. We'll get into the other lane so we can get an acceleration. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Genesis G90 Premium. With all that being said, a huge shout out and thank you to Genesis and Sandy for giving me some time with this G90. Check out the inventory link below. Let's get into the video. Going to the hood, we have a twin turbo 3.3 liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs being 365 horsepower and then 376 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the G90. So first off, you guys will notice that we've got this really nice kind of like indentation here in the center that has the Genesis logo in the center of that at the front end. Really cool looking LED lights here and just super great. And also visibility with these is fantastic actually at night. Notice we've got parking sensors here along the front. We've got the sensor right there in the center of the whole grill kind of matches with everything. And yeah, overall the front end of the G90 definitely looks imposing and yeah, Definitely means business. Now coming on the side here, we've got two 45 millimeter tires wrapped around 19 inch wheels in the front, and then two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 19 inch wheels in the back. As for the design on the wheels, I think they look fantastic. It has that kind of like old school luxury car look, and yeah, just great. Turn signal indicator there on the side, and then notice we've got the trim right there on the side as well. It's finished in chrome, kind of matches all the accenting, and then also around all of the windows. And well, that's your full side view. So here's our key fob with the G90. You guys will notice that we've got the opening there for the trunk, which it's cool that it's all automated. Now here's the trunk in the G90. Notice we've got all of our floor mats back here. We do get a first aid kit. And then underneath all of this, we've got some little bit of extra storage. Uh, but yeah, storage space back here is great. I mean, it's a very large sedan. So yeah, it makes sense. It's got good storage space. And then you can lock it from the rear and then also shut that automatically, which is another cool little feature. Now finishing things up here in the rear of the G90, notice we've got the lights and I have like the light bar that goes all the way through. We've got your G90 logo, we've got the four wheel drive badge as well. We've got parking sensors along the rear with the coverings there for the exhaust tips. And also we have a G80 right next to us. You guys can see the difference with the back end and then also with the wheels as well. There is a difference, but yeah, that's everything for the back. Now here's the door panel in the rear. We've got really nice leather trim here at the wood and then we've got more leather down below with our controls there for like the windows, for example. And then we've got this here for the sound system, which looks fantastic from a design perspective, just beautiful. Here are the seats, which are also beautiful. Really nice padding on them, but you can see we've got all the leather trim here with the perforated leather in the center. You've got the really nice leather and piping on the sides and we'll pop in. As you guys can see, leg room is great. Got some storage space there, and then notice that we've got the wood trim here on the back of the seat, which is kind of funny. Got the vents right there, and then this actually hides some 12 volts, which is uh, pretty interesting. And then headroom, wow, interesting. So you guys know I have the LS500 for a week, and that one doesn't have a ton of headroom either. It's, it's weird, these like luxury sedans, they've got great legroom, but they don't have a ton of headroom. And I'm about six foot, if you guys are wondering. But climate controls, radio controls back here, like the whole media station back here, and heated seats. And also that, and then you can also move that seat there, and then there's more controls on the side to move it. So pretty cool, but let's head to the front. Now here's the door panel on the front. So notice we've got the really nice leather trim here at the wood, and then more leather down below, all of our window controls, and then we've got the mirror adjustments, memory seats, another speaker for the sound system, which looks fantastic. And then here are the front seats, which also look fantastic. Nice leather, piping, perfect leather, all that fun stuff. And then you've got the adjustments there on the side of the seat. There's the pedals down below, and they've got this for like the trunk, you've got the gas cap, the parking brake, blind spot, lane departure, stability control. The steering wheel is automatically adjustable, and there's one we're looking before we pop in. So here's our steering wheel in the G90. You guys will notice we got leather all around the steering wheel, and then we've got like our pages button, and then our adaptive cruise control as well. You've got your phone control, voice command controls on the other side, paddle shifters there on the back for that eight speed automatic. Light size turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock, and yeah, that's all for the steering wheel. Now here is the gauge cluster. First off, we've got that center screen which you can scroll through a couple of different menus. And then as for the gauge cluster itself, looks pretty analog, nothing too crazy, but we do have some different drive modes. So we've got our comfort, sport, eco, and then custom that you can go between. And then by the way, the sport does tighten the uh, bolsters on the seat, kind of similar to what Mercedes does, which is pretty cool. But yeah, that's everything for the gauge cluster. Now here's the center infotainment system. I absolutely love it because it's like in this shaded area so you don't get any screen glare. 
ingenious. Uh, and more car manufacturers need to do this. But yeah, response time on the screen is fantastic. And then also from a camera system perspective, you've got the bird's eye view, you've got other viewpoints as well with the camera system. So yeah, even though it's a pretty big sedan, parking it is not gonna be an issue. But yeah, they've nailed it from an infotainment system perspective. Like I said, response time's great. There's not any glare because of the location and yeah, I love it. Got wood trim down here with the hazard light button. We've got our clock, analog controls for the infotainment system, analog climate controls, shifter for that eight speed automatic with the giant parking brake. And then notice we've got this for the camera system, the parking sensors, auto hold drive mode select we've got this right here for the infotainment system it's like the analog control there is quite a bit of glare um, you guys probably notice you can't see the controls all that much and it hurts to look at uh, we've got our controls here for the heated ventilated seats the shade and the back cup holders with the wood trim and then this is actually for the wireless phone charger i think this is cool how this is all like covered up and there's like tons of storage space down there i don't know i like it center console which pretty normal has some more charging ports Nice leather though, all over. Like all the materials in this car are fantastic. And then notice like the material used there is really good. Got the glove box. Yeah, really nice leather. The design as well, solid. And then we'll pop up here to the top where we've got a sunroof. Notice we've got a really nice headliner as well. Cream colored, so it kind of contrasts to the rest of the interior. And then, yeah, I've got the sunglass holder, but that's all for the top. Here's our window sticker on the G90. Feel free to freeze a frame. If you want to read all of the options that this comes with from the factory. Well, standard equipment rather. And then you guys can see there's not really anything added other than, well, freight. Anyways, $76,475 is the total MSRP. Wait for it. Wait a little bit longer and a little bit longer because it's a big car. Let's take it out see how it drives. Talk about visibility before we set off. You guys can see visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, they do have blind spot. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. We are setting off here in the G90. And first off, let's talk about the road noise and the ride quality. So from a ride quality perspective, yeah, it's actually really smooth. And then from a road noise perspective, it's well insulated from the outside. It's kind of a windier day today. And yeah, not a whole lot is coming through. Tire noise is pretty minimal. Let's see how the brakes are right here. Yeah, braking is good. Sometimes you gotta worry about that with these larger sized sedans, uh, just cause they're so heavy. Uh, but this actually still brakes at a really good pace. So that is definitely a plus. And then what I'm gonna do is actually pop it over into the sport mode right here. So we can see what this 3.3 liter twin turbo V6 is all made of. And this one also has the turn signal camera. It's actually in the center of the screen right there. That is pretty cool from a feature perspective, especially considering the price point and everything else that this has uh, going for it. And, <laughs> well, sorry guys, I of course picked the worst time to uh, drive. So taking a turn here, let's get partial on throttle. Transmission's nice, quick, and snappy. Uh, definitely get some good punch out of that twin turbo V6. Braking is really good with this, and I love that turn signal camera. It's definitely cool. Come on, Raptor, you're supposed to be fast. Slow Raptor. We'll get into the other lane so we can get an acceleration. Yeah, it's actually pretty quick. It's actually pretty quick. That is impressive. And like I said, that eight speed is super smooth, super quick uh, with the upshifts and the downshifts. Does a really good job from a transmission perspective. Uh, and yeah, I think this is I think this is a great pairing. The one thing I will say is um, obviously this is a pretty big sedan, and so if you really want power, you know you're gonna want to go for the 5.0 Ultimate. But that being said, at a place like this, you know Utah, where I'm at higher elevation, this twin turbo engine does a pretty good job, and you're gonna get more power loss from that V8. And then the other thing is. The torque difference between the V8 and this engine isn't a whole lot. And that's kind of what these cars are all about is the torque. Um, so that being said, right, this engine can make quite a bit of sense uh, in, in most situations. Gets good fuel economy, has decent get up and go. It's gonna do good at elevation, not gonna get as much power loss, just as torquey pretty much as the 5.0 V8. But obviously you won't get the 5.0 V8 sounds. Um, 
But yeah, overall, I, I think it's everything's a pretty good pairing for this car. Yeah, it's it's more than adequate, really. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any complaints with it. So let's get into setting things up here with the G90. So first off, exterior-wise, I think it looks great. Uh, Genesis has done a really good job with differentiating themselves with their styling. Well, yeah, they do look like Bentleys, but you know what? I, that's not a, that's not a bad place to be. Uh, but what I'm saying is, this like has a ton of road presence. Like it looks like a really nice upscale luxury vehicle. And then interior-wise, it follows suit. Like there's nice materials everywhere. Everything you look at is nice. Everything you touch is nice, uh, except for maybe the stocks. They're plastic, so I guess that's a little bit of a downside. Um, but everything else like is nice material-wise. So it, it's just it's a really nice upscale uh, place to be, and you, you feel like you are in a really nice luxury vehicle and it's not nearly as expensive as the competitors um like for example i've got the lexus ls this week and uh, i've got the f sport package on that car and that thing's like almost ninety thousand dollars so this is significantly less uh and you know what it's got all the same features and so you really aren't giving up anything uh so if you're looking for a really well-rounded full-size luxury sedan and you don't want something that is crazy expensive then you got to check out the new genesis it 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 really does differentiate itself because when you get a car from any of the manufacturers, Mercedes, Lexus, BMW, they look like the other cars in that uh, brand. Whereas this, it has its own unique styling and it really does differentiate itself from other cars on the road. Like when people see this, they think it's a lot more expensive than it is. So I guess if you also like, wanna look like you have a much more expensive car than what it actually is, it also has that going for it. So yeah, gotta check out this new G90. It's, it's 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 cool now let's get some things up for our video here on this 2021 genesis g90 again a huge shout out and thank you to genesis of sandy for giving me some time with the g90 check out their inventory link below i'll see all of you in the next video